Well, something else that's impressive. Yeah, you could call it a mammoth discovery, perhaps. What one former one farmer thought was a bent fence post turns out to be a little more massive than that. It was a mammoth, uh, huge. John Chilino shows us this creature is thought to have been killed by human beings 15,000 years ago. Past the tall corn and under the bean field of the Bristol farm is a window to Michigan's past. It's definitely uh, something an animal could get trapped in, perhaps uh, that when it was here. It started out as a mundane chore, laying drainage tile. Where he was going to put the big uh, cistron for the drain, for the tile, uh, him and Trent hit it with the uh, backhoe, I believe, and they brought up a couple pieces. Turned out to be a rare scientific find. So I went out and looked at it with him and basically said, you know, these are, these look prehistoric to me, and I'm not a scientist or a paleontologist, but, and I said, well, if there's more here, you've got these, there's got to be more somewhere else. What James Bristol found was indeed prehistoric and indeed rare, a woolly mammoth skeleton. Fewer than a dozen have been found in Michigan. That's amazing, Seriously. something that big. They quickly called in experts from the University of Michigan who confirmed the find. It's incredible. It's, you know, it's a huge find, and, uh, you know, it's a part of Michigan's history. Today, the site is still attracting some attention and still yielding some bones. But in this farming community just outside of Chelsea with deep ties to the land, the farmers are in awe of one resident whose ties go back even deeper. That's uh, almost, uh, you know, beyond my comprehension to think that, uh, you know, that long ago these uh, animals roamed on the very land that we're farming and living on today. Uh, definitely uh, makes you think a lot, no doubt about it.